but hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome if you are new here i do not have any makeup on my face i'm kind of just filming this on a whim i have not recorded probably like a week week and a half i've just been really busy at my job i'm working almost every day i have like one to two days off every week and it's usually not a weekend or the days that i film so i didn't really think ahead of time and pre-film any videos really i have a few but they're kind of like Eh, if that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm going to do a small little haul, I guess you could call it. Um, I don't know if you know what Shopco is, but they are closing all of their stores in my area. So I picked up makeup because I have no self-control when getting my first paycheck. So I have my receipt so I can show you prices. Your stores might be different or already closed. Mine closed in about two weeks. So I might go back and get more if there's anything left. Because apparently the last week is the best week to go because everything's like 90% off. So I went twice. I went. We have two stores open still, like I said. I went to the first one a few days ago and then I went to the other one yesterday. Which this video was will be going up whenever. So the days might be off. So I'm just going to go through what I got the first round and then the second round yesterday. So first I got... Oh, it does kind of tell me. So I got these Real Technique uh, mini BB. The price sticker is kind of in the way, so I'm going to take it out of this. If so it's just these two mini purple BB blenders. I love the mini ones for getting like it under my eyes. Just anything. It says that they're erasers, but I'm assuming that you can just use them as a norm normal beauty blender. And again, Real Technique ones. Um, it says Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. I don't know if that's the company people. Or like someone they collabed with but that's that so these were retailing for six dollars and i got them for two dollars and forty cents next i got two of these wet n wild uh liquid eyeliners i got blue and purple so i got a dark purple and then like a light blue um they also had a brown but brown really didn't strike me so i just got fun colors and these were the only ones i had so these retailed for uh, $2.99 and I got them for $1.20. Um, the purple is in electric purple and the blue is in voltage blue. So both of these were $3 and I got them on sale for $1.20. And then the next item I got was this Wet n Wild Pro Line Precision Flat Face Brush. You can't really see it so I'll kind of open it in a second. Um, apparently this was like a newer product because it says new on the little tag here. They only had one of these, or I definitely would have picked up more than just one. Um, they didn't really have a whole lot of brushes left. They only really had like the e.l.f. brushes, and they were still retailing for like 20 bucks. So on sale, they still would have been kind of pricey. Didn't think it was worth it. So it's just this rose gold semi-fluffy brush, if it'll focus. So it's just like this fluffy flat brush, I guess you could say. There we go. And then the last item I picked up is this LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. Um, unfortunately, I got the shade Porcelain because on the sticker that it comes with, it said that it was medium beige and I was in a rush so I didn't check what shade it was on the actual bottle. I was going by the tag and it is way too light for me. So I'm either going to give it away to a family member or save it in case I get really pale this winter. And then I got the Wet n Wild foundation or the Wet n Wild brush I got for $240. It was originally $6. And the foundation was originally for $49, and I got it for $1.80. Okay. I'm just going to set all these off to the side. I'm actually just going to put that back in there. Stack. Okay, so I don't have the receipt for the second time I went because my boyfriend actually bought it for me because I kind of spent all my money on other things with this paycheck, but it also wasn't the biggest because I was only working a few hours. I literally had like 14 hours on my paycheck, so not a huge thing, um, but I did score some things. So the first items I guess I got 
for the first few items are these Wet n Wild uh, just lip crayon or lip liner crayons. Um, they all look the same shade, but they are not. They are slightly different, but these kind of reds are like my shades. So you can kind of tell here that they're all different. They won't focus, but I'll tell you the shades anyway. So they all retail. Okay, so they all retailed for two ninety nine. I probably got them about a dollar twenty if it's off of this last one um, from the Wet n Wild and just the same clearance or like on sale pricing. So I got the first one in Don't Be a Prude. The second one is in I Got the Juice. And the last one is in Plum Together. So it's just three lip crayons in like red shades. You can kind of see. They are all different, I promise. My boyfriend was like, you know, those are like all the same color, right? And I'm like, no, they're not. They're all different shades. So girls, do not let your boyfriend tell you that something is all the same shade because boys are just colorblind. Unless it's like red to blue. Boys are colorblind when it comes to makeup. So the next items I got in my shade, hopefully, are the LA Colors, which is the other foundation that I got in neutral and medium beige. Not really quite sure what they'll be. This is probably more like a winter and then a summer shade. But again, $4.49, so I probably got them about $1.80, give or take. So hopefully these are my shade. If not, they're only a couple of it's literally like under two bucks. Not super worried about it, but I will do a review on these eventually. So the next foundations, if this will focus, thank you. So the next foundations I picked up was the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in Classic Beige, Classic Beige and Sand. One of them were on like clearance clearance and the other was like in their normal, nor the other one was in their normal sale. These don't want to focus. Um, whatever. You know what? You get the point. So the Classic Beige was $6. Um, I don't really know why they were separate prices. I don't know if it's because the one looks like it, it was swatched a little or something. Um, I'm not super worried. I'll just wipe off the ends. So I got, again, Classic Beige which hopefully is my normal color. And then I got a little bit darker one, which is sand. This one retailed for $4.19. Again, don't know why it was on clearance, um, but they probably retailed out about the same price because the normal stuff was 60% off and then clearance items, which have the red tag, were 40% off. So with the price difference, they probably equaled about the same price. Um, again, they're probably about $2.40, $2.50-ish. Um, the second to last item I got was the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. Again, don't know if it's a collab or what it is, but it's a Miracle Beauty ball sponge. It's like this little, it's like literally a perfect circle ball thing, um, like golf ball size, but it's a beauty or like a sponge thing. This was on clearance for 350 if you care about seeing the price tag. <laughs> Um, I've never tried this. I've seen this around Christmas time. This is like a Christmas thing. And I really, really wanted it. And I was like, mm, I'll wait. It'll probably go on clearance. So there's two of them left. I only picked up one because I didn't want to spend a whole lot. So I probably got this about $1.50, give or take. Um, again, they were like 40% off because it's the reg tag. And then the last item I got was this... Uh, <laughs> brands. The last item I got was this Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. Doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. It, you can't really tell, but it's black and it's got like glitter specks in it. So they retail for $5. It was on clearance for 49 cents. And I know because I looked at the like checkout thing. <laughs> And this was 29 cents. So I really scored on this one. Um, it's super, super cheap. So, and it is in the shade Shady Witch, which is kind of funny. I just think it's funny. So I got all of this. 
makeup. I'm trying to grab everything. This is going to be a struggle and a half. Oh my god. I probably should have kept some of this in the box. No. <laughs> so I got all of this makeup for about $25. I spent $10 or just under $10 the first time I went and then the second time I went was about $15. So again, probably about $25, $20 to $25 on all of this makeup. So it's um, three beauty blenders or Real Technique beauty blenders. I have uh, three lip liners, two eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. Um, five foundations and a liquid lipstick so I think I scored pretty well I would be getting a little bit more but they didn't really have like my colors left especially foundations they had a lot of like darker skin tones left and with the liquid eyeliners like I said they only had brown purple and blue so I already per picked up purple and blue so I wasn't gonna pick up more and then the lip liners they really only had darker colors or pinks or bright reds and bright reds and pinks are really not my colors <laughs> oh my god and lipsticks they really only had like bright pinks and like lip glosses in pinks so again not really my shades or things that i like on my lips or anything so and i looked for brushes and beauty blenders and these were really all i could find so i'm glad what i'm glad you have so much to cut out right here. <laughs> At least you know where it is though. So I'm glad I scored what I did. I'll probably go back the last week or the last couple days, see what they have left, see if they have like bundles or something and maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. So yeah, let me know what foundation you guys want me to try first. If you want reviews on anything, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, even though it is a horrendous mess. And don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this.